Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, uh, size 12 dry fly hook. We've got Shear 40 knot Olive. This is the braided damsel. So we'll just attach our tying thread here. We don't need much on. It's just to give the braid a little purchase. Spin my tying thread, my bobbin, clockwise. So it gets a round profile and then I can get a little more purchase for the braided backing. So I've cut a little length of braided backing uh, that I've coloured olive and marked with a black pen. So we go to the front there and we just attach that. Now you can apply a little bit of super glue here or cement or whatever you like if you're a little unsure about how it'll hold but I think it goes fine. So then what we want is a little piece of foam and we put this on the top, we don't want to go all the way forward with this. And just as long as you don't crowd the hook eye, we're okay with this. That's good. Don't need any more than that. And we need two light done wings. And we'll just attach those there. All we need to do is hold them. And make a, just a couple of turns to tack them in. And then we can pull them to the correct length. These want to be pointing backwards and a little shorter than the body. That'll do us there. So then we can just tack these in. Remove all that, cut the stragglers there, let's get rid of those so they don't cause any. That's looking good, got our two wings. Then what we need is a golden olive hackle, which will, oops, spin it the wrong way. tie in there. Now what I like to do with this hackle is just run it forward and bend it, the stem over just to secure it. And then we can trim that off. And we take our hackle and we wrap this parachute style around the base of the foam. This is a very popular pattern in New Zealand uh, where they have prolific damsel hatches on lakes. You don't have to be too finicky with this because all that's going to be put back we just tie off that hackle into the wing. Trim off that. That's good. All that hackle is going to point backwards like that afterwards. So what we need now is we just go back into the hackle and I'll spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to open up the thread so I can split it. And there we go. I'll split that. Like so. And then I've loaded a Petit Jean Magic Clip with 
green CDC. And we'll just pop that in there like that. And spin our time thread clockwise again. Done it again. And then we lift back the parachute ankle. And just wind this forward. And we bend over, pull all that back. Bend the foam over. Good. Trim off that there. Take our Whip finisher. There are some that put rubber legs in here at this stage, one each side, but I think there's enough with the CDC and Michael. And we'll just remove that. Turn it upside down. <sighs> Trim off the super long CDC underneath. <sighs> and that's it. That's the finished braided backing damsel. If you enjoyed the videos, please like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching.